Hey you guys, welcome to another video. Um, I am coming to you guys just to encourage you um, and we're going to talk about stress, being stressed, being overwhelmed, and how that can affect us naturally and spiritually. So while I was driving in my car, um, I was just noticing my face was breaking out, as you can see. So I got a friend right here and another friend on this side that just started breaking out out of nowhere and I'm like, it must be stress or feeling overwhelmed with some things that I'm dealing with. Um, so that led me to reflect on this women's fellowship that we had at my church last year, beginning of this year, about how stress can literally kill you, how being stressed will affect your body and it can take its toll on you and it can show up in ways like you start your face start breaking out or you know your blood pressure goes up or you know you feel exhausted all the time but there's so many different factors that stress and being overwhelmed and frustrated can have on our bodies and it's not healthy and um my mind also went to the fact you know when a woman is pregnant and how her and people around her do the best that they can to make sure that her pregnancy is as stress-free as possible because when she is stressed, it affects the womb, it affects the baby, and it affects the mother. And a lot of us are spiritually pregnant with things that God has planted inside of us. But we're allowing stress to affect the process that God is developing inside of us. And like I said, stress can literally kill someone and we want to make sure that we are doing all that we can to just cast our cares on Jesus. First Peter 5 and 7 tells us to cast our cares on him for he cares for us. Um, so I was thinking about that and I was like wow it was just eye-opening and I thought about it before but just being able to see on my face the fact that stress manifests in different ways. And when God has given you a vision, when he has given you a dream, when he has given you um, a goal and um, revelation on what he wants you to do or something that he is developing inside of you, something that you are pregnant with, you have to do your best to make sure that you stay stress-free as possible. You have to cast down those thoughts and make it obedient to Christ that are trying to overwhelm you and cause you to be frustrated and overwhelmed. You have to know that God is for you and not against you so that you can release and be able to carry full term the things that God has planted inside of you because there are people that are waiting for you to give birth to the things that God has planted inside of you and if we are allowing things stress from the outside and even stress things that we cause on ourselves to affect the process then it's not going to benefit us in a positive way it's going to affect us in a negative way so I just wanted to give you some scriptures one of my favorites is Isaiah 41 and 10, and it says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. First Peter, like I said, 5 and 7 tells us to cast our cares on the Lord, for he cares for us. Philippians 4 and 13, Proverbs 3 and 5, and for 2 Timothy 1 and 7, it talks about how God did not give us the spirit of fear, but a love, power, and a sound mind. So these scriptures, and a lot, of course a lot more, can encourage you to do the best that you can to spiritually not be stressed out so that it does not manifest itself naturally or that it doesn't um, stall or affect um or stunt the growth that God has placed inside of you so that whatever vision that he has for you, whatever his will is for your life, that it will come to pass. You have to make sure that you are maintaining your physical body and your spiritual body so that you can be able to be healthy and accomplish God's will for your life. So I just wanted to encourage you guys and encourage myself to not be so stressed because when my face breaks out, it drives me crazy. Because I do like my face to be beat and I do not want these bumps on my face. So I hope that you guys are encouraged. Please, please, please be encouraged. 
um, and know that you're not the only one going through, but us, especially as sisters in Christ, we need each other to make it through because you're going to need someone else that's made it through to encourage you just like somebody's going to need you to encourage them. Um, so I love you guys. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, comment, share, like, follow on Instagram, all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, y'all. Bye, y'all.